Hey everybody, hello and Bapanada, and welcome to another episode of Hollow Knight. This one is a recording stream, so if people jump in on this Labor Day while I'm recording, I will be talking to them. And if you want to see what they're saying, um, and you're not like watching the actual recording of the live stream that has live chat playback, then go there instead. And if you're just watching for gameplay purposes, then hi. Hi. Welcome. And um, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to people and myself and you. You, friends. I'm talking to you as well. So here we go. Um, also, I'm not great. Hi. So we just acquired the map that shows us where all of the grubs are. Um, and we've only got, <laughs> I think, four left. Um, so we're, we're gonna go and take care of them. And the first place that we are going to go to do that is the hive. I think the best place to start is probably the palace grounds. And also I want to run across the ancient basin and see what that marker is that I left there, because I don't remember what it is. So... Yeah, we'll head to the ancient basin. Voila. Ancient Basin... Distant Village? Maybe? Hidden Station? Maybe? Maybe it's the hidden... I don't know, we'll find out. It is the Hidden Station. Dead people. Where have you gone, dear king? He's dead. He's dead. This might be him right here. He still won't let me poke him. We need about a, a little less than 200 more of those little soul gem things. The uh, dream nail essence. There we go. We need a 182 essence to um, to do the final upgrade. What I assume is the final upgrade on the dream nail. I assume. Here we go. Here we go again. Nope. Not catching me with that trap. Alright, so why did I put a marker over here? If anybody's interested, if you're watching from the present and you haven't, like, because the episodes haven't released yet, uh, this is my charm loadout right now. It's the Wayward Compass, Gathering Swarm, Quick Slash, Grim Child, Mark of Pride, and Sprint Master. Now, eventually I can get rid of Grim Child. Um, actually, are there any more fire things on my map? Since I got rid of the last one? No, they disappeared. So that's another thing that we can do, is head back up to uh, the Howling Cliffs and um, work on that. Because that is, that is also a thing that we can, we can, we can fuck with. Um, right there. We're going to betray the hell out of Grimm. It'll be fun. I invite you to come along. Tea will be served. There will be no tea. don't want to fight you again. Okay, I just marked the the dead boss. That's all that I marked. Um, no interest in fighting you again, so we'll just move on. Unless, can I get more... Can I get more essence if I fight them again? I have no idea. Okay, but that was kind of a walk. Luckily, there's bees. Um, you know what? Let's leave that marker there. It'll be a gold marker. 
Um, just to remind us, just in case we do need to come back and go boss hunting. That'll be a thing that we can easily find. And he's kind of out of the way, so there's that. Um, we're looking for bees, and we need to go up to find them. Don't we? Yes. Uh, still further up. There we go. A Jesus Deluxe. Uh, so you do get more essence if you fight again, but the boss is harder. Alright. Rock on. I may... After we finish rounding up grubs, I may go and check on that then. And start just uh, redoing bosses. Because I still need... I need about 200 essence. To, to get to the 1800 that we need for the, the next and maybe the last upgrade. So there's that. Um, to the bees, to the bees. Right now we are grub hunting. I uh, just finished a recording where I got the, the, the collector's map or whatever it is. And it tells us that there's a grub in here, somewhere. Come on. Really? Okay. That's fine. I wonder, I the only boss I've fought twice so far is uh, Zote. And that was out of spite. I wonder if he gave me more essence whenever I fought him the second time, too. I honestly didn't notice. I just liked beating the crap out of him. at my map. That is rude. The bees have no manners. Not even gonna try and claim that that was any level of skill that kept him from hitting me just then. Not even a little bit. So our grub friend is somewhere to the right of us. Get out of here. gonna get in my way while I'm trying to figure out where this freaking grub is. Get, get wrecked.
interesting. Uh, time to get out of here. Uh, best way out is down and to the left. And that's all the grubs we've got for this area. Yep, this way. Oh, God. better. Not gonna lie. Could have gone better. You, you're all poor. All right, that was unnecessary. Cool. Uh, let's get where do we want to go from here? Where's our next missing grub friend? We've got two in deep nest, so we'll head that way. Which is convenient, because the tram will take us more or less right right there. And I guess we could also go and fight the that boss again. So, yeah, screw it. On our way over, we'll fight that boss again. Down to the left, there's a bench right there. Pretty easy to get to. I like it, let's do it. My bad. Where am I headed? Right now, I am headed to fight the boss that was right over here and then I'm going to head into deep nest and rescue these two grubs and then I'm going to head up to the teachers archives and rescue that grub and that might be all of the grubs that we have and then I need to start hunting down the uh, second half of where is it 
Boom, ba -doo. There we go. The second half of this guy. The white fragment. What was I doing? Oh yeah, this. There we go. Thank you, little dude. Because I still need about 200 essence. To, I think it's the last upgrade on the Dream Nail. It's the one that's for uh, 1800 Geo. Let's try to fight this guy. And he got me. Alright. I think this is manageable. Oh, no, can't shortcut that. <laughs> There we go. And we'll just follow the pathway. So that last platform we can drop down and just dash in and we should be okay. Oh. Ah. Great start, me. Great start. twice in a row with the same attack. on his head. Understood. Damn it. Got it. Have I played Breath of the Wild? Um, I have played Breath of the Wild. I have not played Tears of the Kingdom. go. What do you say? Oh, you're just gonna... Okay, that's cool. Sweet. Alright. 
So that was worth it. We now have all of the essence that we need to maybe finish the nail. Unless Seer was lying to us. Which they may have been. This guy's like an Octorok. <laughs> yeah. It's an Octorok on crack. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, so back to the tram then. And we can get that thing off of our map. An Octorok on crack that was also designed by, um... What's his face? Oh, damn it, I had it in my head. Uh, Tim Burton, there we go. Up. There's a guy, that's fine. Deep nest. Didn't get a chance to ask that that first guy in chat. I probably should have. If his if his screen name is Jesus Deluxe or Jesus Deluxe. I live in Texas. And there's a difference. Uh, let's see. Straight to the left. In that we can't actually go straight to the left. need to redo the the first boss the false knight I think he was Boink. done all right um straight ahead perfect That's fine. This one is. missed you. Oh, I missed you too. How's my day been? Um, I did some light yard work, and then I played video games, and then I helped bring in groceries, and then I'm playing more video games. So, my day is going... The hell? My day is going rather well. How is your day going? User one, two, three. Um. Huh. Hi there. Oh, where did... Okay. Okay. Um... This isn't troubling at all. <laughs> it's been okay. <laughs> it's been okay and then, oh, never mind. Did it all of a sudden not become okay? <laughs> is, is everything all right? Hi, little me. Am I gonna have to fight me? Dream nail the bodies. Have I seen bodies down here yet? Oh, here. There we go. My face! Oh, good. 
Dean's a face stealer. Thanks for that. You were dead? Oh, that's... Awesome. Great. Uh, down this way? Don't run. Brother. Hey. Dead guy said not to run. Come on. Come back. Dearest. Oh, geez. Wow. How? Well, there is a mask salesman somewhere in the world that is probably linked to this somehow, I bet. Where was the last bench we were at? That one. Okay. I think we rested at it, so... Um... Well, this is a great sign. Ah. Hi there. Jesus Christ. Ah. Yep. Oh, Jesus. Um. Um. Nos. All right, you charge. Good to know. Oh, no. Thought you were going to jump further than you did. Ah! I seem to be pretty safe right here. Oh, jeez. Okay, not safe. Oh, there. Oh, still got me. Nope, still got me. And now you have been gotten, sir. Thing. Mosca has a sprint. It did have a sprint. <laughs> it does not anymore. Uh, let's see if I... Nope. Yeah, get my head out of here. Wearing my face like that. What do we get? Oh, good. A third pale ore. We can do another upgrade on our nail now. <laughs> Use my face. All right, uh, I guess let's get out of here then. Yeah, it's time to go. Thank you for that. I haven't had a whole lot of trouble with many bosses in the game. Like, there's a couple that I've had to redo a few times, but none that have been like super troubling, if that makes sense. Took you a while to beat it. He is kind of tricky. I think I got really lucky with hugging that corner. Alright, uh, where's our next grub? Straight up. Uh, actually, let's go update our map real fast, and then we'll we'll deal with the grub. Yeah. Make sure we didn't miss anything down there. Does not seem like it.
I think I saw... I want to say I saw a streamer do that fight not too long ago. It was, um, holding out. Was in the... The... Not the Colosseum, but the... The Pantheon. There we go. And he took on that boss in the Pantheon. And I think he used that corner strategy. So I cannot claim that that entire strategy was mine. Come on. You're not gonna... Okay. Am I not in the... The area where people come back to life? Oh, I hear a grunt. Stop it. There it is. Wait till Wing and Nosk? Oh god, no. <laughs> okay, oh wait, was that an opening? Yeah, oh shit. Yes, it was. Come on. Let me back up there. Okay, fine. We'll go and do it the... Uh. Watcher Knights was one of the hardest for me. They hardly slowed him down. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right, good, Gio. Let's see, the Watcher Knights. Those are the, the ones with the, the multiple bodies that you have to fight two at a time, right? Um, where do we go now? Probably to the Stagway, unless there's a, a grub that's close by. It may be faster just to head to the archives from here. We'll do that. Those are the ones, yeah. Those guys were a pain in the butt, man. Like, their patterns... Unless you get really lucky and their patterns start lining up... Like, they're just obnoxious. Didn't find that. Oh, the, uh, the hole in the spikes? Uh, we need a bench. Safety bench. See, it's outside the door. Yeah, you know now, when I played the game blind. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've done... I've played a lot of Metroidvanias. And... I guess I'm kind of used to looking for, like, the little cracks in the walls and things. Like, ever since... The <laughs> um, a Link to the Past. It kind of... Yeah. Get out of here. There we go. Oh, no. There we go. Yes. Do I have the train ticket? Yes, I do. Thank you, John, for confirming. Uh, we want to go up, up, up. We wanna go up, up. It won't let us go up. Back off, I'm looking at my map. Stop it. I will say A Link to the Past is definitely, like... A Link to the Past is the... 
will say it's the best top-down Zelda game. But I don't really know if you can compare it to things like Ocarina of Time. And definitely not Breath of the Wild, because it's like a, a totally different genre, you know? Just got back from the store and here I am live. Yeah, I figured I'd take my Labor Day off and do labor in a different way than I normally do. <laughs> I'm bad at relaxing. Hey, Mindless Meat, how's it going? I'm also bad at manners sometimes, so I apologize for that. Uh, here we go. Uh, ba -do -ba -do. All right, so we want to go over and around to the Queen Station. Got it. Yes. Let's see. Now, Ocarina of Time on the 3DS was built different on the 3DS. Well, <laughs> yes, very much so. Dealt with that. See, Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening was an amazing handheld experience. I'd say it was an awful lot easier than uh, a Link to the Past. But for a console that had to be powered with batteries, it was, like, it was the the second best way to pass the time on a car trip next to the original, like, Pokemon Red and Blue. Four Swords was a great game if you had friends. And you had enough controllers and, like, for Four Swords, didn't you need GBAs and... The, what was it, the GameCube, I want to say? Played the Switch version, then I played the original Link to the Past. I got you. Uh, let's go and do a bench. Wrong place. Like, we tried, my friends and I tried Four Swords, but, and I went through the wrong thing again. Um, we never had enough people all together. It was like, that's, the downside of growing up in Texas, especially growing up in Texas in, like, the 90s, was that nerd culture was, like, non-existent. Alright, gotta go up. Hopefully our friend doesn't piss off too many large jellyfish. You're all Like, it was very, very difficult to find somebody else, like, in any particular, like, fandom or aspect of nerd culture whatsoever that one, like, would not, like, that would actually do what you wanted to do as opposed to what they wanted to do, but also that wasn't, like, a part of an incredibly toxic, like, gatekeeping system. Oh, you got me. Nice. Back to the bottom room with the water. Let's see, I think the hole is there. Let me grab this grub real fast. So I think we've. Let's see, bottom room with the water. Like around this area, or like through the the fungal waste over in here. Oh well. We will figure it out. Alright, so we know the grub is right above us. Oh, 
All right. Just literally right above us. Interesting. Huh. Might be able to get it from the top? <laughs> I have gone through a hole in King's Station. Um, there we go. Yeah, over here into Kingdom's Edge. Like right now, we are well and truly ahead of where the Let's Play series is by a little more than a week. You have to go around. Alright, so from like... over here? Or from above? Oh, nope. That did not work out well. Alright, no breakable walls there. Let's try from above. Oh no. Oh wait, yeah, I'm not vulnerable to acid anymore. That's right. Old habits, I guess. Oh no. <laughs> Now we're well and truly past where the grub is. I don't know why I just burned a heal. I did not need it. Awesome. That's right beneath us right now. Alright, let's try something. There we go. Oh yes, I am... <laughs> I've been playing... I've been recording like hell because I have to do two back-to-back -back trips to Dallas on the 18th, and also because, oh no, oh no, 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 <laughs> oh, Jesus, um, and also because I've got Blasphemous 2 and um, Sea of Stars that are kind of on deck, and I am, I don't want to neglect this game for them, but I also don't want to put off this game at all. Should have seen that. Alright, nothing on the ground. My profile pick is uh, Pico from Breath of Fire 3. He is an onion who's also kind of a god. Who is mostly useless for large portions of the game. <laughs> unless you put a lot of effort into him. And then he becomes just this amazing... Like, tank beast. Okay, let's see. No! There we go. Alright, so it's not here. Is it... Can we get there through here, maybe? Or 
Or do we have to, like, go into... Huh. Hmm. Nope, not making a lot of sense here. Anyone who pays for the PlayStation monthly thing got Sea of Stars for free? <laughs> That's... Alright, I'm gonna be honest. That's some shit. I've been looking forward to that game for, like, literally years. And for them to be like, oh yeah, no, it's free for, for people who play for PlayStation Plus. It's like, oh, get wrecked. Man, good. That's you know, good on them for making that deal, I guess. But um, that's some shit. Should be in Queen's Gardens. Even though it's right there. So, yeah, Queen's Gardens is way over here, and that grub is right there. I don't think we get to it from here. No. Gotta run. Good luck. See you later, John. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, like $120 a year for it. Damn. Grub is there in the room with the archives. Grub is in the room with the archives? Yeah. Or the room with the entrance to the archives. I've just got to figure out how to get to the little bastard. But thank you for the hint. I appreciate it. rancid eggs do? I believe you give them the rancid eggs you give to this lady or this person, this bug right here if you cannot retrieve your uh, your ghost, your spirit, your, um, your regret I think is what the technical term is. I have not used a single one. I've still got, I've got 16 at the moment. <laughs> What am I missing here? Oh, I just, I shouldn't have jumped. I should never have jumped. I should have just followed through. And that's the last scrub. Should have just followed through <laughs> and not interrupted the damn dash. Oh, man. Do you long dash until you hit the far wall? Yep, we, mindless meat, we, we had the same idea at the same time. Let's see. <laughs> um, okay, then in that case, uh, we need to go talk to the grub father. And it may be faster just to run there, so we're gonna do that. I think he will give us one of the few charms that we're missing. Ah, uh, we dodged one. It's fine. Man, it's no worries. This place is confusing as hell. <laughs> no! Oh, there's. I hate those jellyfish so bad! Oh, God. Thank you, Grimchild. Child. 
Like, the whole point of this channel is that none of us are particularly great. Like, you don't have to be great. You just have to have fun. That's not a jellyfish. Oh, no. There we go. Let's see, Forgotten Crossroads. Yeah, that's where we're going. Let's see, the Grub Song, I think... Yeah, we already... The menu is a jerk. We've already got Grub Song, but I think he'll give us another one for getting all of the grubs. Or er, Grubber Flies Elegy. There we go, yeah. Ensemble. Ow. Rude. That was silly. Gotta go. Hopefully you'll be back later. Can't wait to see the progress and have a nice day. I will do my best. And I do appreciate the sentiments and hope that you have a nice day as well. See you when we see you. Grub Chorus! And money. Which we desperately need. Because there's a giant worm lady who's holding one of our... Charms hostage. <laughs> Grubber flies elegy. There it is. So now we've only got one and a half charms left to collect. And we have to pay for this one to get it back out of that woman's digestive tract. Grubberfly's Elegy contains the gratitude of grubs who will move to the next stage of their lives, imbues weapons with a holy strength. When the bear is at full health, they will fire beams of white-hot energy from their nail. Cool! I like it. Glad you put the money collectors back on there. It is so nice. It just doesn't work for money that's thrown at you as opposed to, like, dropped on the ground. Alright, um, we're at 12,000. We need 15,000 to convince that woman to poop out the charm that we gave her to eat earlier. The Zelda shot. Yes, precisely. There's Zote. In an episode that's coming out in a couple of days, we do get to beat the crap out of Zote, which is nice. Alright, so we need a couple thousand more to get that, and then I have no idea what this charm is. I also don't know where to go next. <laughs> I've got no clue where the other half of this charm is. So I may look up a hint and um, and figure this out. Because we need it. We also need to go and get what I hope is the final upgrade to our dream nail over here in the Spirit's Glade and the resting grounds. Um, and we'll do all that in the next episode because this is a recording stream. 
This is the end of the first episode of the stream, so if you're watching from the future, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you again in the next one. In the next one. And until then, I hope you're staying safe and healthy, and do try to have a good one.